good morning welcome back to my channel my name is gk follow me on gkzm today i am here at art farm there is a show going on here it's an agri show so let me go and see what's happening there i think this is the biggest show ever in harare zimbabwe you can see lots and lots of tents over there the agriculture community and companies they came together to showcase what we have here in Zimbabwe we got lots and lots of machinery for agriculture here including solar energies you can see all those tents that you see over there that's the agriculture show it's happening right now in Harare Zimbabwe along Harare Drive on a farm called Art Farm along Harare Drive. So please, guys, come and see. I think they opened yesterday on Wednesday. The show, I think, is gonna end on Saturday. Here at, here at Art Farm. Let's come and support our very own show. Let me go and see what's going on there. I think there's lots and lots of machineries there that lots of companies are showcasing. And uh, as you can see, cars are beginning to come. Uh, people are beginning to come. Uh, people are parking cars. It's gonna be high activity right now. Let's see how it goes. This is Arari, Zimbabwe, guys. Let's go and see this show here. All these cars, they came to see what's gonna happen here in terms of machinery buildings. Let me go and bring you content as it is. Let's go and see. So I'm looking for parking right now. Let's hope I get parking. This is Agri Show. So I'm getting parking on this field here. This is Atfa. Right, I got parking. Let me go see. Good morning. It's a Thursday morning. We are here at farm. There's an agri show which is happening today. I think the show will run for three days. It's gonna end on Saturday. It's all happening here. Let's go and see what's happening here. The biggest show in agriculture. It's happening here at Art Show, Art Farm, Art Farm. So let's go and see. This is Art Farm, guys. Agriculture show happening here. Here along uh, Harare Drive. At Art Farm. Let's go see what's happening. All these tents that you see, people are showcasing lots and lots of agriculture equipment. Here at Art Farm along Arare Drive. This is uh, a research farm here in Zimbabwe along Arare Drive. The show is big, it's massive. As you can see, lots and lots of companies are showcasing. Let's see how it happens. Good drip take over there with the hot air balloon. This is the agriculture show. So I'm paying my $10 here at AD, at my agriculture show. So let's see how it goes. I've just paid my $10. I'm getting tagged. <laughs> so let's go and show you content. Right here. Yeah. So I've just paid my $10. Uh, this lady here. What's your name? Subarashi. What's that? I could go to show. Showcasing agriculture equipment. 
Yes, you can go and see and enjoy your day. <laughs> this is what I got. Let's see how it goes. We are here at Art Farm. This is the agriculture shop. Let's see how it goes. All these trucks are the tractors that you see. People are showcasing tractors, you name it, everything under one roof. Let's see how it goes. So, if you are into agriculture, lots and lots of tractors here. Cast tractors, big tractors for farms. Cast three, and this is a big machinery, Magnum Cast three. It's all happening here at Art Farm. This is ADMA, Agriculture Dealers and Manufacturers Association. They are holding an agriculture show here at Art Farm. <sighs> Planters are here. This is big, guys. This is huge. And you can't believe it that we are in Zimbabwe, Harare. It's all happening here at Art Farm here. Cass Equipment, JBC. So if you want cars as well, it's an Isuzu. Isuzu stand here. Commercial vehicles from 4x4s. That's an Isuzu stand over there. Good morning guys, I'm here at Atma Agriculture Show at Art Farm. I've just seen these guys here at Isuzu Stand. And your name sir? Uh, my name is Seb, I'm the marketing manager from Waterworld Isuzu. Come down, check us out, we've got lots of cars on display. Big shout out to my friend here, GK Zim, Zim. is his, yeah. GK Zim. Yes. Is his YouTube channel. Follow, follow us as well, Waterworld ZW come check out what we have on display so guys please I, I know a lot uh, these guys that do sell commercial you know vehicles and lorries and uh, you know small trucks please come and support them come and buy one here and I choose the stand sounds good they good good prices huh? absolutely so, best, best eh? <laughs> <laughs> so like this uh, I saw the truck that we have here in front. How much do you think that this cost? Uh, that single cab there will go for just under 30,000. 30,000, huh? Yeah. It's a good deal, huh? Uh, it's a very good deal. Please, guys. Brand new. Uh, where are you guys situated? Uh, we're at the Chisapiti Roundabout, the Isuzu showroom there in Chisapiti. Please, guys, come yeah. and uh, see them at, uh, in Chizi. That's where they are situated. Come and support them. They've got lots and lots of vehicles here. Four by fours, commercial vehicles, Isuzu. You know, I suppose is the, the brand to, I mean, to, to have, you know, it's a good Definitely brand. Definitely the yeah. brand to support. <laughs> With you for the long run. Yeah, cheers. We'll see you in the next. Cheers. Bye for now. So please come and support Auto World. They sell commercial vehicles from 4x4s, Isuzu, commercial lorries, you name it. Isuzu with you for the long run. And this is the engine for the Isuzu that uh, this guy is cleaning. What's your name, sir? Uh, Samuel Pass. So what are you doing here? I just cleaning this vehicle. Is it? Yeah, sure. So Isuzu. Isuzu yes, yeah. It's a it's a good car. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, very strong. Huh? Very strong power. Good. Yeah, sure. See you in the next. Yeah. So how much is this uh, Isuzu? Uh, okay. Well, around 40, yeah. Yeah, around 40. Yeah. 45, yeah. 45, 40, 50, yeah. Yes, yeah. Look, check out the engine, guys. Yeah. It's brand new auto world come and support them okay. Okay. and they've got i choose the commercial vehicles as well the 850 for farms as well that's i choose for you guys with you for the long run good 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 morning guys welcome back to my channel i'm here at adma agriculture show we've got drip tech stand here over there so with me i've got munashe munashe how are you so can you tell us about drip tech what are you showcasing and how many companies do you have uh, so with uh, drip tech cozy and uh, tire room but uh, 
So Diptech, what does it do? Uh, we sell pumps, we sell pivots, we sell uh, uh, all, all the farming material from mm. uh, the infield stuff mm. to, the, to the main line to the pipes mm. and everything else we do. Is that? Yes. So where are you guys situated? Uh, I'm from Grenada branch. Grenada branch. Yes, branch is in Borodeo. Yes. I drive the branch in Seke, mm. branch in Wakington. Yeah. And, uh, Right, so you got tires here. Yes. They sell tires, huh? Yes, they do. And uh, drip tech, they sell uh, irrigation stuff, huh? Irrigation stuff. Uh, good. And pumps, huh? And, pumps, yes. and uh, what else again? Solar, solar, one stop solar? One stop solar. It you does do solar, Solar stuff, uh, the panels, the inverters. The inverters as well. And then there's also Buffalo Steel, which does uh, the the fencing. Oh, the buffalo still does fencing, huh? Yes. All right. Yes. Trip Tech, this is the company to be. Please come and support them. They are here at Adma Agriculture Show. They've got a big, big stand here. It's one of the biggest stands here at Adma. Yes, it is indeed. Say to my subscribers before I go. Uh, please come through our stand. I will walk you through all the stuff that we have. We are also giving some discounts on some stuff. Like the generator, we're giving away a uh, same discount. Mm. There we are guys, they are giving 7% discount on generators. Please come and support them. Yes. Come and see Munashi. Yes, see you in the next. Yes. Cheers my guy. Yes. Yeah, what are these Munashi? These ones are called the centrifugal pumps. Yeah, yes. what do they do? They are usually used for um, big schemes. Let's say you are doing uh, uh, a hectare going upwards, up to 10 hectares. So you connect them in the pump house and then they feed into your irrigation system. So they have a range of sizes from uh, let's say uh, 20 horsepower. To so what size are these, Munashe? Uh, this one is a uh, 90 kilowatt. Uh, this one, okay. yes, this one is a 75 horsepower. So this one, yes. this one, they're saying it's a 75 horsepower. Yes. Uh, it's a big pump, huh? Yes. So only for irrigation, huh? Yes. Only for so what other size do you do? Um, 75, um, 40 horsepower, 50 horsepower, 20 horsepower going down, but it will depend on the. Uh, yeah. Up to 150 horsepower. Yes. Mm. So, the, what are the price range? Are the price good, Munashe? Uh, the price range is uh, they're good. Uh, yeah. Because uh, we give uh, a two year warranty on this pump. Two year warranty? Yeah? Yes. So, the price is. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, what, what make are they? What make are these? Uh, these ones are called DAB. Sorry? DAB. From where? Uh, from Italy. Italy, yeah? Yes. So, these are strong pumps, guys, from Italy. they called DAB. D A B D A E G or D A B. A E G is the motor of the motor. Yes. So D A B is the company that manufacture these pumps. Yes. Where we are, they are in Italy. Yeah? Italy yes. So you import this stuff from Italy. Yes. All right, super. So guys, there we are. You heard? Please come and support uh, Trip Tech. And they sell. Do you sell trucks? Uh, tractors oh, as well. Uh, the tractor is for the for pulling that. Uh, so Munashe, can you tell me, can you explain me about this pump here? I think this is a bigger pump, huh? Yes, this one is called a pontoon. You see, like in a, in a dam, yeah. it's suspended inside, on top of the dam. Yeah. Because it's sucking water from underneath. Mm -hmm. Yes, so it will be sucking water. So guys, uh, guys, this is a pontoon. It's a big pump. Uh, it's put, uh, I think, uh, I mean, they put it on, uh, on a dam, huh? Yes. Yeah. So what does it do? I basically suck water from underneath. Underneath. It will be floating on, on top. On top of the dam. So it will be sucking water. Yes. So what size? What size is this pump? Uh, that should be 150 horsepower. 150 horsepower. Yes. It's dub again as well. Yes. Please come and support these guys. Yes. Do come through. Come through. Come through and support DrepTech. So you do call call as well. Calls him. I can see you got call there. Calls him. Yes. Sir. You, you can come through inside. We are allowed to go inside. Yeah, all right. I'll come through. So I'll come through. I'll come through. For now, let me do it uh, outside. <laughs> right. So what? What's what, what this? What's this? Uh, this one is called a horse reel. A horse? Horse reel. Horse reel. Yes. So what does it do? Uh, it basically irrigates with these with these arms. Mm -hmm. So a uh, tractor mm. or some a few guys can pull out the the, the, the horse. Pipe, the uh huh. Horse, yes. Uh huh. And then it will. The pump will be feeding through the pipe. Yeah. And then uh, the horse will start coming backwards towards the, the horse. Oh, really? So, uh, how much does it cost? 
Um, Roughly? 40, 50. 40, 50,000. Eh? So schools, uh, farms, please yes. come and buy these horse. What, what is it called? Uh, we actually sold one, one to St. George's. Okay, St. So George's bought one. Yes. So schools, private schools are buying these, you know, for to irrigate their football fields. Yes. Please come and support. Drip Tech calls him and One Stop Solar. They've got a big, big stand here at Adma. Munashe, see you in the next. Okay, thank you, sir. Cheers, eh? so, so, guys, I'm here at Adma. It's happening, the biggest agriculture show in Zimbabwe. It's all happening here. We've got Bain Company, they sell New Holland tractors as well. Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is GK, follow me on GK. Today I'm here at Bain. Stand. And I'm Jim McSorley, GM of Bain. Jim, so what do you And Shona, we will say to this gentleman, Mauya. Ma Mauya, welcome, welcome. 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 Yeah. So what do you, uh, what's so your name? So my name is uh, James McSorley, I'm the GM of uh, Bain Farm Equipment in Ferrari. Mm -hmm. And we are the latest for New Holland. Mm -hmm. Tractors, combines and industrial equipment. Mm -hmm. And we also have a factory in Harare uh, and we manufacture locally made implements suitable for the Zimbabwean conditions, mm. bars, arrows, rippers, mm. all that sort of thing. Mm. So Cultivating we... machines, mm. so we've got a factory in Workington and Harare. In Workington, huh? Yes. There we are guys. So the manager just explained what they sell and we are going to take you through I mean, uh, the equipment that they are showcasing here at Adma. So can we go through? Yeah, okay. we'll start. So the first machine you can see on the left is called let, let, let me okay so this machine you can see here on the left it's a construction industrial type machine mm. and it's a BATB it's a TLB which means tractor loader backhoe tractor loader backhoe T mm, it TLB does, so it does about three things in one it does multiple things so yeah. you've got a bucket on the front that's the bucket guys the bucket there yeah. and that bucket's four in one you can see it's got a clamp it moves out and in it's called a four in one bucket mm, mm. and if you walk behind the machine yeah you'll see it's got a backhoe on the back so a that's digging a bucket that's, oh, yeah that's so, a digging bucket huh? yeah so basically the digging buckets for yeah. digging trenches because mm. a lot of farmers in zimbabwe they like to do their own digging when it comes to irrigation yeah, laying yeah, irrigation yeah, pipes yeah, yeah yeah digging channels mm. front bucket can be used for multiple purposes for mm. loading drain mm. or loading sand mm. doing all sorts of multiple jobs on the farm mm. so this is a tlb it's very popular in zimbabwe and it's a model B A T B. Is it? So now, how much? How much does it cost? You know, this kind of. No, well, it's about between seventy and eighty thousand dollars. We try and give the the farmer the best possible price. Eh? Price on it, yeah. So yeah. guys, seventy to eighty thousand. We have. Uh, or maybe sixty nine even. Sixty nine, we'll yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, a good deal, huh? Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, then yeah. we got the T T T seventy five tractor. Yeah. This is a very popular tractor for tobacco so, farmers. So you can be in front. Eh? In Zimbabwe, okay. Yeah. And um, so they're very popular. So ma mainly tobacco farmers will run a 75 horsepower tractor. Mm. So these these are on special for Adma, $23,000. There we are guys, $23,000, it's all yours, eh? Yeah, all yours, going, going, as you see in the auction, going, 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 $23,000. Yeah. Mm. So we're doing an Adma special, we're trying to help Zimbabwe agriculture to, especially the small scale farmers, to yeah. be able to afford to buy a small tractor like this. Yes. So enable them to get away from the Mombi plow mm. to the mechanization. So there we are guys, small farmers, please. This is a good price for this Holland tractor TT75. Turbo, it's got a turbo. Turbocharged engine, 12-speed transmission, and it's got dual external hydraulics on the back. Mm. For so, hydraulic function. So it's only 23,000, it's all 23, yours. Add more special until the end of the month. Add more special at the end of the month. Please come and buy one. So then what? we mentioned we've got a factory in Harare. Yeah. So the factory makes this arrow. This is a Caesar arrow. That's a Caesar arrow. Yeah. And we get them. Like, we get them between 10, 12, 16, and 24 discs. Mm. Depends on the size. So the farmer mm. depends on the size of the tractor. Mm. So these are made locally in Harare, as you can see. So this is made locally here in Harare, Zimbabwe. Yeah. It's made locally in Harare, Zimbabwe. 
We want the farmers to support Zimbabwean product. That's right. We are proudly Zimbabwean. That's right. Zimbabwe is great. That's right. We want the farmers to support That's us. That's right. So how much, how much is the haro? This one, I need to double check because we've got a special on this one. Mm. I'll double check just now with the, uh, with the salespeople behind the counter. Mm, super. Okay. So, so uh, we can go to the next. Yeah. What else again? Okay, this one here. Is a TD75. It's a fruit tractor, vineyard tractor. Yeah. Or a Nairo tractor. Yeah. Specifically for people who do uh, orchards, vineyards, uh, blueberries, small crops, orchard crops. As you can see, it's a Nairo tractor. It's more narrow than the others. Mm. And it's specifically for the fruit. Vegetable market, orchard type market. Yes, sir. So it's got a turbo intercooler as well. It's got a turbo intercooler, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, and it's 75 horsepower. So 75 it's got, horsepower. Even though it's small, it's got lots of guts on it. <laughs> there we are. You heard it, guys. It's got lots and lots of guts. So and how much? And it's four wheel drive as well. Is it how much? How much? After the after the main video, I'm going to give you prices on everything. Super. Yeah. Super. So we go to this one here. This is a big. This is a big. Uh, Big Madala, yeah. Yeah, this is yeah. a big Madala. <laughs> it's like me, 690. Yeah. yeah. It's a 160 horsepower tractor. Yeah. Uh, four wheel drive, as you can see. Air conditioned cab. This tractor has a, a power power shuttle transmission, so mm. the transmission can go clutchless, clutchless on the go mm. without using the clutch. Mm. So it has a, certain models of 10, 12, up to 16 forward speeds without mm. clutching. Mm. And the good thing about these tractors are the clutch is oil. It's an oil-based clutch, so you don't have a conventional dry clutch. Uh -huh. So it lasts for a long, long time. Mm. It lasts a long time. Is it? So, so you will take me through the prices as well? Huh? We will take you through the pricing afterwards. So this is a big Madala air conditioning. You know, I think this type of tractor, I think uh, uh, you can use it for, you know, you know the sugar plantation, guys in low well, This is, yeah, yeah, again, this is for like large scale commercial Farmers. farming. Mm. So the farmer might have 1,000, 2,000 hectares of row crop, soybean, wheat, and maybe maize. So this will pull a large implement, a large ripper, a large harrow. Mm. So your land prep can be done a lot quicker and a lot more efficient. Mm. And the smaller tractors, mm. so this this will be suitable for the large for that. steel machine. Yeah. Super, yeah. super. And this machine here, okay. what does it do? It might look funny. It's got all sorts of points. And That's stuff right. In the front. That's right. So this is called the forest harvester for maize, mm. specifically for dairy farmers. So what it does, it chops the maize up into small pieces, the the, the stock, the cob, everything, and it's for silage making. It's a silage making machine. Mm. So it's called the forest harvester. So it chops up the maize. The maize cobs, it comes through here, chops up into small, small pieces into a trailer. Mm. The spout's not up, but there's a spout. So okay. it, would, it would throw it into a trailer. The trailer would offload into a pit, and then the tractor then would roll the thing to a certain temperature. Mm. Then the silage would ferment to a certain temperature, and it becomes cattle feed over winter time. Super. Specifically for Mukaka Mombis. Mukaka Mombis, yeah. Eh? yeah. <laughs> so th there we are, guys, those who are in dairy, this specifically for Mukaka. For yeah. dairy, for mombes, eh? For mombes. So super. So this yeah, here. sure, sure. So here we have here, Combine Harvester. It's a New Holland CR6.80. CR6.8, what does it mean? Uh, it's just a classification size. On oh, is it? Yeah. The horsepower so and stuff like that. Horsepower and stuff like that, mm, yeah. Mm. So this is a Combine. We can call this one Big Daddy. Huge. This is Big Daddy. This, this it's is huge. Daddy. It's huge, guys, eh? Yeah. Check the tires as well. This is huge. And we would call this is my own personal thing. We call it the grain gulper. It can gulp grain up. Is it? So this specific machine can harvest maize, soybeans, wheat, grass seed, any any sort of row crop, mm. sorghum, things like that. Is it? So, and with the combine, you have two specific headers. So the header on this one on the front. So this is the header. This is called a header. Yeah. Which can be changed. This is a wheat head. Okay. So in the in the business, we call this a wheat head. That's a wheat so, head, eh? Yeah, but it doesn't only do wheat. It will mm. do soybean, it will do wheat, it will do grass seed, it will do sorghum. So any any crop that's drilled, this wheat head will be able to cut and feed into the machine. Mm. When it becomes maize harvesting season, yeah. we remove this head yeah. and we put on, it's called a maize head. Yeah. Totally different from this. 
And this machine will accommodate six, eight, up to 12 rows of maize. Mm. So it That's can huge, harvest yeah? 12 rows at a time. That's huge, yeah? So the combine itself is of rotary design. So yeah. the, the thrashy mechanism is rotary. This is unique. It's got two rotors. It's called the twin rotor. New Holland twin rotor. Mm. The only twin rotor combine in Zimbabwe is from New Holland. Mm. So basically the twin rotor gives more comfortable and ease of thrashing the crop. Mm for it to be thrashed and thrown into the grain tank in the front. Mm. So uh, so the twin rotor is more reliable, more robust, and more easier on the crop. It's unique to New Holland. Uh, that's why it's called the CR. Is, I think it's French for twin rotor. Is that? Guessing, yeah. Okay, so... He, so this is Big Daddy. He, Big Daddy. So he's going to give me the prize no, for this Big Daddy. Later, yeah, yeah, later, yeah. Yeah, I don't yeah, want to sure. give you a fictitious prize. Right. So here we have here in front of us, this is a, a New Holland round baler. Okay. Uh, what a round baler does, as its name, it bales round bales, not the old fashioned square bales. Uh huh. So the bales are round. So, like that? Like this. this okay. This, yeah. So that's this how it small. does, huh? This is small. So it does bigger ones, huh? But this can do ones up to as tall as six foot high. Mm. So this is a fixed chamber baler, and you can adjust the baler to make it more dense, more heavier, or lighter. Mm. And uh, it's the wrapping mechanism on there. It doesn't tie a knot. It just yeah. wraps it straight around. Yeah. Or the twine around the bill. So no need for knotting mechanisms or anything like that. Again, for large-scale farmers, it's better and quicker than the square biller. Mm. So what capacity? The capacity of this, this will do like 900 bills a day. Wow. Easily. 900 bills per day. Yeah. Wow, that's huge, yeah? That's huge. Good. Then if you move to your left, to my left. This is a giant bear. This is a big daddy. This of is a big daddy, yeah? So we've got big daddy combine. Yeah. And we've got big daddy bailer. Ah. Um, so this is a big square bailer. So this is round. This one does a giant square bale. Mm. Why do farmers do giant square bales? Two things. We can export some of this grass. Oh, is it? Bales. We can export farmers if you have a contract with maybe some customers in the Middle East. Yeah. We can help Zimbabwe to earn foreign currency mm. by, by producing the square bill because it fits into a 40 really? container. Mm. So these big bills can fit into a 40 foot container, specifically ryegrass, which is very well, very much needed in the Arab Emirates. In Arab, huh? Places like that where yeah. you can do agriculture. Yeah. So this has got an opportunity for Zimbabwe to make foreign currency, mm. to export that, that mm. bill overseas or the farmer can keep it for himself mm. to use. But the good thing about the square bill, it, it's compact, it's heavy. The bill itself could be up to half a ton. Half right? a ton, huh? Yeah. So okay. See, so this is an example. There's an example of it there. Yeah. yeah. So inside there you're looking at wheat straw. Mm. Mm. So guys there we are. Those who want to export, you know, the bellas, please come and buy this big daddy, the big bella. Twelve seventy plus New Holland. So we'll give you the price later. One of these tractors here as well, at so New Holland. This tractor, again, very similar to the ones you've already seen, but yeah. it has an attachment on the front. It has an attachment, it's called the front end loader. Front end loader. Yeah. Front so end what does loader. it do? So multiple purposes again. So what it can do, when you do the run bill, as we've just spoken about, Yeah. that bill is probably Two or three hundred kg. You cannot lift it by hand. Wow, wow, wow. That's it heavy. Lifted by That's heavy, machine. yeah. It needs so a what machine. What the farmer can do, yeah. if he has one of these on the farm, we put a spike on the front and then we can spike it, lift it up and load it onto a trailer. Mm. And it gets to the other end, to the to the farm sheds. Yeah. We can spike it again and offload and stack them. The good thing about the run bales as well, they're very good for weather. The rain doesn't penetrate inside and rot it to straw. Nice. The grass. Nice. That's another benefit of having a run. It's an advantage, yeah. Tight. Yeah. So these are factory fitted by New Holland. Yeah. It's not a retrofit. It's produced by New Holland factory. It's custom made for this specific tractor. No need to add on extra pipes. Oh, is it? It comes, this tractor came with the loader complete. Mm. So the benefit with, uh, with New Holland is we can order from the factory. Oh, really? Not retrofit from a different company. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, guys, you've heard they can order straight from the manufacturer. Yeah, no need to retrofit. No, no, no need, need to retrofit. Yeah, straight on. <laughs> yeah. Straight in, yeah. And good. good yeah, so we'll give you the price later, guys. 
Prices will come later. Later. So this is going to turbo intercooler as well? Turbo intercooler, yes. Yeah. yeah. And most of the tractors here have got um, on the gearboxes. So some of the tractors have got, as we said earlier on, the bigger tractor has got a semi-automatic transmission. Semi-automatic transmission, huh? And then some of the smaller tractors have got 12 speed transmission mm. with a forward reverse shuttle on it mm. with a dry clutch. Mm. Bigger tractors have a wet clutch. Mm. So it's just the different design of each machine. So the bigger machines are more sophisticated with wet clutches and these have got the dry clutch. Nice, nice. There we are guys, you've had. So we'll give you prizes later. We'll see you in the next. So everyone, this is the New Holland TD95. Uh, again, for the farmers, it's also on special. Special price is 34,000 US dollars, mm. as you see it. And again, this machine has a 12 speed transmission. 12 speed transmission? Yeah, forward reverse shuttle. Uh -huh. It's got radial tires, front and back. Uh -huh. and the tires are very good. It's a good brand, it's called Agribib Tires. Agri? Agribib from Michelin. Michelin, eh? And uh. they are radial tires. Radial tires in agriculture give you more grip in the land mm. than a cross ply tire. That's an advantage to the farmer. It's an advantage to the farmer. It gives mm. you less fuel slip, better yeah. fuel consumption, yeah. better productivity. Yeah. So these come standard with the radial tires on mm. Mm. And we've got it on special to the end of May. Mm. Farmers, please come and buy from us. They're on special, special. So please come and see us. Any one of the salespeople here at the mm. So where are you guys situated? Huh? Uh, so Ben is situated, we've got branches all over the country, head offices in Harare in Workington, yeah. 34 Douglas Road. We have branches in Marindera, mm -hmm. we have branches in Mutari, uh -huh. we have branch in Bulawayo. Bulawayo, yeah? Yes, as well. Mm. And we have also, to support the sugarcane industry, we have a branch in, not in Terezi, but in Triangle. In Triangle, well, huh? To support the sugarcane industry mm, mm, and mm. the small and large scale farmers mm. there. I just mm. want to emphasize as well, we, we want to try and support the small scale farmers. We want them to mechanize. If you mechanize, you're able to do your land prep a lot better, mm. plow deeper, rip deeper, mm. plant more positively and get a better yield. And that will help the small scale farmers and the families. To get a good yield. Good yield equals more money in the bank. You've heard. Equals good lifestyle for the family. Good That's yield equals good money in the bank in the bank <laughs> you've had yeah please come and buy these uh, tractors so do you do service for these yeah. machineries yeah so each you got a workshop a huh? service center we we have a workshop in every branch mm. and we have full parts parts and maintenance in every branch so backup so service is there backup service is there i just want to emphasize this is the year of 2023 that's right at the end of the day it's the ability to fix a tractor when it breaks uh. That's what makes you good. That's right. That's what makes you good. Mm. You have to, when the tractor breaks down, we mm. have to be able to fix it mm. quickly, especially during land prep and harvesting time. Mm. So we have the technicians, trained technicians. We send our technicians to South Africa for training. And they're all trained up on the di diagnostic equipment for the larger machines and yeah. the combine. Yeah. And also they're trained on these sort of more basic tractors, how to do engine repair. Engine, gearbox, hydraulic overhaul, we can repair everything. So, at all of our branches. where we are guys, we had, they can do all the repairs here in Harare, in and Zimbabwe. And branches. And the other branches yeah. as well. And yeah. all of our branches there. All over right. Zimbabwe. Yeah? Yes. Super. See you in the next. About this damper here, what does it do? Okay, so this is a full cubic meter damper. And again, made in a factory in Workington. Made, totally made in Zimbabwe. Totally made here in Zim. In Zimbabwe, yeah. Wow, wow, yeah. wow, wow. So, so please, let's support our local industry. Please support the local industry, everyone. Yeah. So this dumper is a 4 cubic meter capacity. Mm. It's heavy duty. It's got a 4.5 4 millimeter plate. It's made by 4.5 4 millimeter plate. It can be used for multi-purposes. Multi-purpose, yeah? It can be used for agriculture, mm. mining. Mm municipality for collecting rubbish mm. and all sorts of different applications that's quite a lot yeah even in mines as well huh? mining agriculture municipality, municipality. construction everything super made, made in zimbabwe made so, in zimbabwe by zimbabweans by zimbabwe, <laughs> zimbabwe people there zimbabwe we go guys great. zimbabwe is not playing we are manufacturing tampers here as well yes thank you james thank you see you in the next tell me about this machine what does it do Okay, so this is a precision planter mm. made by Farmate. It's one of the few things that from Ben that is imported. It's not made in Zimbabwe. Wow. <laughs> so certain things have to be imported. Yeah, so this sure, is a sure. precision planter. This will plant any row crop, maize, soybean, cotton, sorghum, any row crop this planter will do. This is a six row machine. 
So what size is it, champs? It's a, it's a six roll. Three, six one, rolls, two, huh? Three, four, five, one, six. two, three, four, five, six. So okay. you can adjust the rows anything from 45 up to 90 centimeters. Most farmers will plant maize at 75 or 76 centimeters, same as soya. And you can reduce the planting width to whichever the farmer's needs are. Mm. And it's a vacuum planter. It can run on any tractor from the power takeoff. Wow, the wow, wow, wow. So you don't have to have any specific special add-ons to run this machine. It's That's right. Very, very simple planter. Mm. Easy it's to use. Easy to use. Easy to maintain. Easy to maintain. And the good thing about this is the accuracy. When you set the planting population, if you want to plant... There we are farmers. We're talking about accuracy. 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 You want to plant... I'm um, old school. You want to plant five or six inches apart, you can set the machine to plant six inches apart. Wow. Every seed will be planted. There will be no miss. Wow. It will plant every six inches. Every so that's five profit inches. to the farmer as well. Profit to the farmers. No misses. Better yield. No misses. Better, better yield. Better if your seed is good. Wow. And it also does fertilizer as well. So you can plant and fertilize at the same time. Oh, really? So this yeah. tank, you put fertilizer? Yeah. Wow. Wow. So what? what so, uh, how many cages can you put it? This will be probably about... Uh, Maybe nine bags of nine bags. Hey, yeah. that's quite a lot. Quite a lot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, depending on your, on your main, mainly farmers will do about 350 kgs a hectare. So the bins are adequately sized, so you don't have to keep stopping and filling up. There we are, guys. We'll give you prizes on the screen. So what I'll do, I get prizes from Jams and put the prizes on my screen and the contact numbers. Thank you very much. We'll see you in the next. Everyone, again, proudly Zimbabwean. Proudly Zimbabwean. Made in Zimbabwe in a factory in Workington. Made in Zimbabwe by Zimbabweans. Probably Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is great. I keep mm. saying that all the time because mm. we are. Mm. We're great. Mm. We can manufacture a lot of our own things. Mm. So what capacity is this tank? This is a 5,000 liter water tank. Water bowser. can be towed by a tractor. So everyone knows like 5,000 liters will be 5 tons of water. One liter of water is one kg. That's right. That's right. So we're pulling 5 tons. This has multiple uses. Mm. Again, it can be used in construction. Agriculture for uh, dry planting tobacco, municipal use, uh, construction use as well, or any sort of use, even even home use. If you want water for your house, this can be used to deliver water to mm. houses and stuff mm. like that. So municipalities can municipalities use this. Can use this. Mines. Mines. Municipalities. Agriculture. Yeah. Even normal household people can use this. Construction guys as well. Construction yeah? guys as well. Yeah. Again, made in Zimbabwe. Made in Zimbabwe. The good thing about this, it has the same axle as the dumper. Uh huh. So commonality of spare parts are there. And again, I'd love to say again, we are proud to be able to make this in Zimbabwe. There we are, guys. We got backup service for these uh, yes. uh, water these tanks water as well. Tanks, yeah. 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 Super. So guys, we are proudly Zimbabweans. This yeah, tank is made by Zimbabweans, for Zimbabweans. For Zimbabweans. Yeah, Super. Great. Thank you very much, James. We'll Thank see you, you in the next. Please come and support uh, Bain. Bain tractors. They've got a stand here, they've got a go stand here. They sell New Holland tractors. And they've got uh, a cafeteria here. They're selling soju. Fla flavored syrup. So guys, uh, what's the name of this cafe here? Pistachio. Pistachio. Is it part of Bain? Bain, uh, Bain New Holland? Yeah, food or? provider for Bain New Holland. New Holland. Super, super. So guys, please, when you visit at my show, come and support these guys here. They've got a cafe here. You can have your drinks, your wines, and everything. Yes. See you in the next. Good food. Yes. Good food, eh? Good food. Good food. You've had good food. Good food, good cocktails, Irish coffees. Everything is here. Everything is here. Yeah, sure. Please, guys, if you happen to be on Bain Stand, here at my show, at farm, Come and see this cafe here. They are amazing. See you in the next. Ben New Holland. This is their signature.